What is up in the guys like to welcome to Miss Hannah, it's your boy and I'm back again. So I'm looking forward to the festival over the weekend. So as from tomorrow, I travel to Manchester for the Park Life Festival. So do expect some vlogs of me getting drunk, having fun. We're seeing 50 Cent tomorrow. I think it's coming at 10 o'clock in the evening till 11 o'clock. So I'll do the whole set and put it out there as well. So excited, guys. If you've not been to a festival and it's your first time going to a festival this year, make sure... You watch my video, I'll leave the link for that just down below. I've given people tips on uh, what to prepare in terms of what things to bring to a festival and whatnot. So enough enough talking away. So guys, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And let's get to it, man. So today we've got the Nike Dunk High. They're called the Obsidian. These are Gia sizing. They're for the older kids. My girlfriend wears a size five and a half as well, UK. These go up to, I think, a size six UK. So... Yes, so let's get to it. These shoes are beautiful, but they could have been laws. And bam, as you guys can see there, we take taking information from Nike. You've got that beautiful shoe which comes in those two-tone shades of blue. So you've got the obsidian blue as well as the lighter blue and the white tick as well. So three colors in total. Beautiful shoe, but I'd have preferred this as a low. It's summertime. You don't really want to be wearing high dunks. I think high dunks just don't look that nice, to be honest. Unless it's in winter time and you're wearing like a trouser which covers the top part and then it looks like as if it's a low dunk, but it's a it's a high. So yeah, nice colorway. They could have just done this, I think, in laws. I guess maybe with kids kids don't really care about fashion as such, but the parents do care about fashion. For my nephew, I've bought him some Nike Dunk University Blue or UNC's, the laws. If they came in the, in the high silhouette, I wouldn't have bought them because his mum bought him some jeans which are very um, baggy and loose, but they're forward as well, so you can see the socks. So I think with the high dunks, it would have been just not as nice as Laws. Laws are always better, but nonetheless, it's a beautiful shoe. So this shoe will not make any money. I know this will probably be this, probably, uh, you know, a lot of you might turn off at this point, but. If you've never bought some dunks and you want to buy yourself a dunk, you've got small feet. This is a nice shoe to start with. It's a nice summertime color as well. And it's so easy to match as well. So easy, you will not struggle. So we'll start with the front, guys. So we'll start with the tall box. So the tall box, as well as the side panel where the tick is, and the upper side panel come in that beautiful obsidian color as well. Then the tall cap as well as the side panels um, next to the laces as well as across the tick as well come in that beautiful lighter blue as well then you've also got the beautiful tick which is in contrast which comes in white it just brightens the shoe a little bit that is beautiful then you've also got the white laces as well then you've got the white midsole finish off with the white stitching as well as the matching outsole which comes in that blue beautiful shoe Let's just slide over so the, the outer sole is blue as well. And I just want to get the, there we are. So the tongue itself comes in that obsidian color as well. What I think about the tongue, should you change the laces? No. I think the white laces are perfect. They definitely, I think, bring more light to the shoe, which is very important. You don't want to have too many dark colors on the shoe, especially in summertime. You've got to have some bright color. And I think white works well with all these colors to make a beautiful shoe. So in terms of what you can wear with this shoe, I'd probably say some blue denim jeans. My nephew wore some blue denim jeans that are loose and he folded them at the bottom. It was the fold style. And then he wore like a Ralph Lauren blue shirt as well, which is baggy. And he opened a few buttons at the top. I think that'd be the look to go for as well, girls and boys. Nowadays you do have unisex clothing. If you're into streetwear brands, you know, a lot of even like non with brands do offer those sort of, you know, loose fitting style-esque, you know, fits. I'd probably say just go for that. That's probably your safest bet. And it's a bit of a shoe. I can't really, you know, complain about it. Yes. And um, yeah, it won't be selling make some money. So save your pennies. And that brings me to the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was nice and short, nice and sweet. Make sure you come back because I've got a few more to do as well i'm gonna load up on youtube a lot of content for you know the shoes and the fashion side of things because between tomorrow 
and you know uh, Monday I will not be loading up anything it will just be mainly Parklife Festival stuff which I put on my YouTube channel so if you've not been to Parklife Festival or any festival whatsoever and you want to know what happens we're going to see quite a lot of stars 50 Cent Overseas, Tyler the Creator, Megan the Stalin. Um, who else is coming? There's a lot of people that are coming. A lot. Too many to mention. But yes, guys, make sure you guys watch and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good weekend as well. Don't drink too much. Don't do drugs. Peace. Peace.